how do I even start? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and my first ever YouTube video. So today I'm going to be filming a Q&A slash assumptions. I did put a poll on my Instagram. Is it called a poll? Is it a poll? Well, basically like a little text box where anyone could ask me any questions or any assumptions that they had. So I've screenshotted them, sent them to my computer because I'm using my phone to film this. I haven't got a camera yet. And yeah, so let's get started into the video. So the first question is, do you have a boyfriend? That was literally most of the questions because um, I was on a YouTuber's uh, video, a French YouTube video named Tim. If you don't know, it's all in my comments. Um, <laughs> But they're all saying basically get with Tim. Uh, I do have a boyfriend. Sorry about that. I've been with Joe, that's my boyfriend, for about four years now. We met in secondary school at an athletics club. The OGs will know the athletics take a day off. I did shop her. I mean, I wasn't even really there for the athletics, just the day off, meet some lads, you know what I mean? Um, so, yes, I do have a boyfriend. A couple questions was actually about where do you, um, who do you live with? And I live with my mum. Uh, my mum and dad are not together, they split up about three years ago. Um, I live with my mum and then I see my dad at the weekend. Oh, I really like this question. Um, do you work or go to college? What do you want to be? So before the whole lockdown situation, I did work in a Bourget, it's a restaurant um, in Chelmsford. Um, so I, I worked there, but now I just get furloughed off of them because I don't work there anymore. Well, I do, but we can't. Do you go to college? Yes. I do English, literature, media studies and art. When that some pictures of my art? What do you think? Can't wait for art to finish. Uh, it's a lot. I didn't realise it would be. Well, obviously I knew it was going to be a lot of work, but it's a lot of work. With the question, what do you want to be? I want to be a broadcast journalist. So not necessarily like the weather, but like, I'll give you an idea. Like, you know, like the weather gal broadcast, being a presenter, like child presenting and stuff like that for the BBC. That is my dream job. That is what I want to do. So that's why I thought you getting into YouTube would be really good for that as well. Being in front of the camera. So catch me as a weather woman on the weather. Have you had any operations? Oh, I have had an operation. I think the only operation I've ever had is on my ears. If you can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but this ear pokes out a little bit. So I was born without any cartilage in my ear. I was actually born with my ears stuck to my face. And then when I was about age 10, I was getting bullied because my ears poked out so much. Um, I'm inside of a photo. <laughs> and um, so I got them pinned back. And unfortunately, because this one hasn't got a bone in it, it pokes out a little bit um but you can't really see that like in my photos i try and hide it as much as i possibly can because i really don't like it um and i might get the get it pinned back again to make it si similar to the other one but for now i mean i've got my hair down you can't see it doesn't really bother me that much you were the popular girl at school i wouldn't say i was the popular girl at school i was more the girl just like friends with everyone a group of girls situations didn't really work out for me not a bitch I don't think I am, I just don't know why. Were you good in school? <sighs> uh, I was, but it was after year nine. Mum and dad did have to go to school to see their teacher, but you know, that's, I just think, you know, that's what everyone does. But yeah, I wasn't good then, but then after year nine, I got mine together and started being better after that. Uh, started revising, actually caring about my GCSEs because they were coming up and I hadn't done anything. Um, but yeah, so after you nine, I was all right. Did you pass your GCSEs? Yes, I passed, I managed to pass all of my GCSEs. I don't even know how I did that. I was really upset with maths because my maths teacher was so nice, he helped me so much. Um, and we was planning to get a six, I got a five. I think I was a couple points off and yeah, disappointed. How did you start to become a influencer? How did you reach out to brands? Definitely wouldn't say I was an influencer. <laughs> no, I actually started uh, Instagram serious, not seriously, like, because I'm not doing it seriously, but um, like a year and a half ago. And it's only really picked up, I would say, in the last like three months. So it's obviously something 
that you have to dedicate a lot of time and effort to. People think it's really easy, but it's not. Well, it's obviously not the hardest thing to do. Like, people do a lot worse and harder things, but it does take up a lot of time and effort. How do I start though? Well, I just, I suppose I just posted, started to post videos regularly every other day. It used to be once a week, because that was all I could do then with school yeah so then and then kind of brands started reaching out to me and i started just promoting brands and stuff like that how did you reach out to brands so i've got an email template if you do actually want to just send me a dm <laughs> just send me a dm and um, i'll send it to you it's just basically like it's like a professional email i send to brands um if i want to club with them and they've not like reached out to me if you ever do want any like individual help or you want to know how to get started then definitely dm me i answer all my dms do you have any animals? Yes, I do. I have a dog called Simba. Um, he's a staff and he's about eight years old. I'll insert a picture. He's the cutest, friendliest dog ever. But unfortunately, he got attacked um, by another dog. So now he doesn't really like other dogs. Um, he doesn't walk up to them or fight with them or anything. But if a dog comes up to him, he gets really anxious. You read often. I'm reading The Secret right now. I know everyone is literally reading The Secret right now and manifestation and stuff, but I kid you not, like I need to tell you this story. Kind of, it's about my Instagram. So I knew I was gonna hit 10K, right? I was like, I'm going to hit 10K. I'm go I don't know how I'm going to hit 10K, but I'm going to hit it. I didn't know how, I would write my book every single day about how I was going to hit 10K. This is so sad imagining the 10k on my instagram i didn't know how i was going to get it and then the french youtuber with 2 million subscribers dm'd me he could have picked any other influencer at that point i only had nine thousand followers he could have picked someone with a hundred thousand followers but he picked me don't you think that's a little bit odd and now i've got 10k just saying you need to get the secret and you need to start manifesting because it's real it's real. What do you use to curl your hair? I use the Molly May curler. I really want to get the Molly May waver, uh, but I do, I have got a dupe for you all for the Molly May waver. Waver. <laughs> waver. Okay, I'm going to put it in the description, but I'm also giving it away for my 10k giveaway, which is going to be posted either tomorrow or the next day to have your, you know, get ready. Do you want to be an influencer or do you want to do this as your full-time job? The thing is, if this does like pick up and do really well, um, at the moment I'm just doing it for hobby. Like I really do enjoy being in front of the camera. That's why I want to be a broadcast journalist. And I really do enjoy doing the Instagram stuff and posting photos. And also being in other engagement groups and all of that, like to support other people who are doing the same thing as me. I love finding new um girl friends on a, on instagram i've found so many new mates on there if this picks up and does really well then yeah like this is what i would do for my full-time job if i could um but if not then i'm okay with that because my dream is to be a journalist or a presenter what's your favorite movie i think it's called in time you know the one where they have their lifespan like how long they're gonna live in green on their arm. That is my favorite all time film. It's the best, if you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. It's so annoying because it's not on Netflix. So you're gonna have to find it somewhere else. But that is my favorite film, it's so good. What's my biggest ick? Okay, so this is quite hard because obviously I do have a boyfriend. So hi Joe, if you're watching. Okay, this is really, really weird. Like this is really weird, but let me just show you. So if someone, so say a boy is sitting like this, yeah, or say like they're laying down and then they do this with their feet to get up. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Do you get, do you get what, do you get what I'm saying? So I'll do it and I'll do another one. So you're laying down and then like they're annoyed because they, they've got to get up or something. And then they're like, oh, <laughs> See, I told you it was weird. Um, but that's, that's my ick. Ever, I've seen it on literally on TikTok, everyone's saying about icks and stuff. So that's mine. If you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? I'm not gonna lie, death. <laughs> Cause my biggest fear, this is really weird, but it is literally dying. 
death is my biggest fear. I'm not scared of anything. But the thing is, like, I will do a skydive and I will do things that could make me die. But just, I feel like it's... Because it's going to happen, like, one... It's going to happen, you know? Like, I just want to make this a bit morbid. But anyway, it's death. So, one thing I could change in life, if it was, is to be, like, mortal. But then, what was that the word, mortal? To be immortal, sorry. What's your best friend's name? I have a best friend who I have been friends... Well, I've been friends with her since primary school. Literally, like, the first year of primary school. Her name is Katie Davey. And she lives, like, five minutes away from me. So, yeah. I mean, we have been best friends for ages. Throughout this lockdown, I have not really been able to see her. So, that's been really upsetting. Um, but I literally could go to her for everything. So, I'm so grateful and happy to have that one person that you know you're going to be best friends forever with. What's your favourite type of food? I love mussels, prawns, squid. I love lobster, all of that seafood stuff. I know that's a bit like disgusting, seafood. Some people don't really like seafood, but I literally love it. My dad, it's because my dad, he loves stuff like that. And we just had, I've just had it like all of my life. But yeah, I think that is all of the questions that I possibly could answer. I hope you enjoyed my first YouTube video. Um, if you did, don't forget to subscribe. All of my other links to my other socials will be down below in the description. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in another video.